get them all, guys. I get to them eventually, but just in real time, I fall behind. Yeah, I mean, could I see Phaedra Parks on Dubai? Uh-huh. Could I see her fitting in? Uh-huh. Could I see her? Yeah, I, I, I'm all for this. I don't think there's any chance of it actually happening, but I agree with you. If these women were smart, instead of feeling threatened, you would be like, please, God above, somebody part the, the, the earth and make this a real thing because we need Phaedra Parks on our show. And you know what? Pick who's going to lose their fucking job. Let's go down the list. Let's see who brought it the least. I mean, is it, is it Sarah? Is it, is it Nina? I mean, but it ain't Phaedra. So I agree. You need to make room for her fucking fire someone. Now, They're not going to fire Stanberry, obviously. Question for you. I, I read in the post that Phaedra has business in Dubai, which would also place her in Dubai. And, um, you know, that would be a good fit. Do you know what business Phaedra would have in Dubai? No, I mean she's a lawyer. The last I checked, I know. But so weird. I was like, what? What business would she have in Dubai? But do I think she would have business and make some? I mean, maybe she's. You know, I mean, sure, sure. I think she would start a business there tomorrow if it meant getting back on the housewives. Um. So there you go. I think it's great. Um, right. I, I wonder if this is all fake drama and like the girls really are secretly like, oh my God, let this happen. I don't know. These, these Dubai girls seem to just, they, they, it's almost like they're trying too hard. You know, I mean, I said the same thing about the cast of Salt Lake with like, not all of them, but like Jen Shaw. And then one day Salt Lake just became great. At first I was like, oh, you guys are too yeah. studied. You know, the show. So, I mean, maybe it has potential, but I agree the cast of Dubai as a whole seem to want this too much. And yeah. it's like, it's, 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 it doesn't read as authentic. Like when Chanel is like, fuck you and fuck you and sit down. I don't know if this really called for all these F-bombs. Like, it's almost like you're too angry, sweetie. Like, just let it be natural. The audience is going to turn off otherwise. So yeah. Uh, I say do this, but I don't think it's really going to happen. But, you know, good for Phaedra for putting herself out there in politics. I agree. I was trying to look and see if there was like something about her, what business she has in Dubai. But I don't, I don't know. I, I have to do a deeper dive. I don't really see anything. So anyway. Well, switching gears, let me just say that someone who I don't think is, is, is I stand by what I just said about Nini being the only one that's banned. You know, this Jill Zarin thing, I, I call bullshit on it. I, I call bullshit on it. Now- I don't think she's banned. Now, I mean, it, it stems off Andy's comments, like when he announced that, you know, when he announced that, um, when he announced that um, Taylor's so like, going to be the first one. Okay. You know, to to switch franchises. Then we get into, you know, he made a joke. He said, in other news, Jill Zarin is looking at buying a house in Salt Lake, Beverly Hills, New Jersey. You know, where else is there? Dubai. You know, everywhere there was a housewife. It was funny. He laughed. And Jill Rumor, I've heard from a very reliable source. Um, Jill is not at all thrilled with Andy's little joke. I've heard from a very reliable source, which... I okay, so I read a really good article. I thought about. But I don't think yeah. she's banned, but go on. So, do you think there's? You know, I I had read that Jill has also put together her own um, cast uh, because she takes credit for finding Bethany Frankel. So she feels like she has the magic um, that she presented to Bravo a group of people, a diverse group of women, to be the next Real Housewives of New York, her included. I've heard that that's not, you know, they're not interested in it. Again, the casting has been very delayed for the Real Housewives of New York, um, but they are getting closer. Then you have the Legacy Show, which I read this week. She is out of. She's been snubbed on again. She's done everything to try and get in their good graces. And part of me is like, okay, is she desperate or do I give her credit for not like giving up because she knows like what she wants? There's a lot to unpack here, Sarah. Okay, so first of all, my sources, what do I know? I don't, don't work for Bravo, as I often say. My sources tell me that, first of all, let me just make this clear, because everyone thinks now that Jill Zarin and I had a huge fight, and I apologize to her on air, which I wanted to do that I kiss her ass. I, I mean, I don't. I tell the truth. There's a 0% chance 
let me just be very clear. There is a 0% chance, I will repeat that, for anyone in the back, um, that Jill Zared will be on the new rebooted Roni with a diverse cast centered around this cast and her. Absolutely not. There is nobody from the past Roni that will be on the reboot, which is going to be on Bravo. Wait, uh, wait, say that again. There's nobody? From the old, bro- everyone that's been there forever. Not the not the OG show, the new one. We're starting over. We're starting with a okay. whole okay, new got it, cast. Got it. So for the, okay, okay, so keep going. If, so um, for Jill, I mean, I don't know, for Jill to present that, I guess, bravo, that you do keep trying, but I'm telling you, that's never going to happen. Let me just be very clear. So on the main show, I don't count this. I still, me, do not count this OG show as like a thing. I think we're going to have a main show. I mean, and again, this I could be wrong on. I think the main show is the main show and the OG show, I still envision it maybe on Peacock, maybe on Bravo, but I don't envision it as anything major. I'm not even so sure it's going to be on for two seasons. It depends how it does. I mean, but this, I- but the, like the main show that they're trying to cast, that they're having, I mean, they're supposed to start filming now. August is when it normally starts, the Hamptons. And then think about it. We always have Halloween and we always have Christmas. They film from August to December. So we're behind. They are having trouble finding a new cast, but I mean, they say they're honing in on it. I don't know if that's true, but when it is rolled out, I am telling you, it is going to be like, picture the hills. Like I'm telling, I think it's going to be thirties and early forties and just, it's going to be a list. I I don't think they're doing it until they find the right cast. I really don't. I think, you know, and that's not Jill Zarin or, and I'm not, I mean, I'm, I love my older housewives. It's not going to be 55, 59 Jill Zarin and her girls. And just because this one's, you know, diverse. No, it's going to be a whole 37 rich bitch like, don't fuck with me. I am the real deal. Serena Vanderwood's in Gossip Girl, Upper East Side. I think that's what it's going to be. Okay, so right as of today, we, uh, you're saying, do you think they're even working on the legacy show? Because according to RadarOnline.com, they are. Jill isn't in it. Luann has signed a deal with E! News and is filming this show, I believe, with Sonia for E! This is what they're reporting. Do you think this is true? And do you and where do you think we are at? Like, who do you think is on the legacy show now? Or should we skip this? No. Well, the legacy show, to me, to me, to my my opinion, was that it was always second fiddle that they were going to find the first group first 